After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Another night in the streets, another night in this hell. I've been kicking and tripping, the cops just threw me in jail. Got my fingers in ink, they got my head on the lights. Dear Lord, please get me out of this jail tonight. Just get me out, just get me out. I've been working for Metropolitan Police Department for about seven years now. And Las Vegas is pretty interesting for a police department. Things are open 24 hours a day here, and alcohol is 24 hours a day, which means people get access to alcohol nonstop pretty much if they want it. And you add that in with our 100 degree heat, and all kinds of things start happening in Vegas. Have you ever been here before? No. Who are you not getting along with tonight? My husband. Oh, is he going to come in too, or just you? No, just me. I'm the one that threatened him. He had uh, yeah. extramarital oh, affairs. No. For 24 years, and then he it's lost so his good. sex. It's been going and on. I've been paying him yeah. since then, so. It's his love. It's his love. All right. He still loves her. 49 and a half years. 49 love. All right, come on. Over here. Have a seat. The very last chair, okay? She's been married to this guy some 50 some years. Uh -huh. and last year, she just he admitted to her that she'd been he had an affair some 24 years ago, and so every now and then when he wants to get her going, he starts telling about this other girl, this old lady. You're here tonight because you were fighting with your husband, right? And he keeps bringing up that he used to have an affair with somebody. So you guys had an argument. Till he had, he had no sex, which was in 1984. Yes. He had sex with her from 1960 to 1984. And now he's telling me about it in 2008. Well, that's got to upset you. Oh, I hope to tell you. Well, it's got to be kind of tough to hear that. Your mind. Yeah. This is 2009 right now, though. I know. Oh, I've but been, so it started last uh, year? Yeah, and I've been fighting ever since. What are all these? They're all from me. From fighting? Yeah. Really? I had a choice, either shooting or call the police. Shoot. So I called the police. You yeah, have we, have, we have guns. Oh, OK. You do seem like you can take care of yourself. Oh, like, I, I do. do I do, honey. I, I use things, though. I don't do it with my hands. Did you hit him with something tonight? Oh, I hit him with all kinds of things. What did you hit him with? Uh, baby oil bottle. <laughs> baby oil bottle? Did you throw it or did you? I threw it. You threw it? Well, now you fight every single day. Did you know you this better. person? I did not know. You didn't know her? I didn't. Oh, no, it's not a person. It's a... Mm. Paid for. <laughs> oh, lady of He's, the evening. Yes, I several see. of them, I understand. I so he had a little extra habit. He's the one that keeps bringing it up. He keeps teasing me, sir. Teasing you. That's know. not very nice. No, it's That's not very nice. Um, what are you here for tonight? Uh, loitering for the purpose. Loitering for the purpose? Is this your first time here? No. no. If I had to count, I'd say probably about a dozen times now. Not the first time. Won't be the last either, so. Do you have any warrants, or is this no. a... No? Uh-uh. Oh. Yeah. Make a lot of money? Um, as it stands right now, no. No? I am actually planning on opening my own escort business. Yeah, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> I would never do it. <laughs> never in my life. She, she had a bad night. No kidding. <laughs> her first time to jail. So you girls that are experienced yeah. with our system can kind of help her out and let her know what this to expect. This is the worst part, the waiting. Oh, thank God. I'm tired. Why don't we go take your picture? Thank you. Thank you. Bye, Bye, sweetie. Bye. Bye. You have a good one. You, you All right. Good girl. Come with me, OK? Here's your charge sheet. It's got loitering for the purpose of prostitution. Yeah. And you know to go to court, right? Yeah, we go to court. Do you have a lawyer or do you represent yourself? I represent myself. Do you? Okay. All right then. Been there enough. Okay. So you remember the rules in here? Yep. Okay. Raise your hand if you need anything, and when they call your name, walk around to where you're needed for processing, okay? Okay. All right, thank you. There's your friend. Why don't you sit next to her? It's been a pretty hectic evening, so I'm glad that they've got each other to talk to.
this is your first time seeing Dale. Oh yeah. Look at, Where's a blanket? Well, we're gonna. I'm gonna work on that, but for okay. right now, I have okay. to put you in here, and I'll be back, and we're gonna That's probably get you somewhere more comfortable. Okay. Go ahead and sit right down. Yeah. So, how are you feeling about it all? I Honestly, don't how are you like feeling it. about everything? <laughs> you don't like it? No. no. It'd be two days out of your life, a little uncomfortable, not very pleasant, but I think you're going to get through it because you're pretty strong. Oh, I'm very you're strong. very strong. And I just can see that you don't belong here. Yeah. You don't belong here. You're in a situation and you I've need never, to get some. I've never done anything bad. Oh, I, I can tell. I understand. <laughs> Okay, well, I hate to say enjoy your stay, but make the best of it, okay? You seem like you're you're doing pretty good. I'm doing real good. Okay. Be careful this now. Is a bear cat. Okay. To them, man. Could be better, right? Uh, my ribs hurt. Um, okay, so I'll try to be careful with that. Can you spread your feet for me, though, please? Sure. But um, my ribs hurt. So you got into a fight, and it was a domestic violence situation, right? My girlfriend called them. I was in my apartment by myself. Just out of curiosity, but what made you to put the tats on your face? I was young and dumb. Oh, so you've had them for a while. Do you regret doing the ones on your face? Absolutely. Have you been here before, ma'am? I have on parole, on probation, on everything. And then you got in a fight with the girl. Yeah, she just... Put me in here. Um, the last last case she caught was on me. So when you get out of here, are you gonna go back to her? She just needs to go. Yeah, it's too much trouble, too much drama, right? I can right? take care of myself. I can do bad on myself. Well, you were taking care of yourself before her, right? Right, but I know you know what love love is something else. You're mm -hmm. right. We're gonna go take you to medical, okay? Okay. So obviously you're here for domestic violence, right? You're okay. charged, okay? So minimum of 12 hours. That's just a cooling down period, all right? <laughs> After that, we'll maximum. Get you 48 hours, maybe? It just depends. Don't worry about it. Have a seat. Let's get it through, okay? I try to start a lot of defects. I got a lot of defects. Who doesn't? This is all defects. I mean, if I didn't have this, I'd be corporate. I'd be in the corporate office. Yeah. It's true, too. It's the way people judge us. Like, kind of makes people look at me a little awkward, you know? And um, they can look at me all they want. If it is, take five minutes to talk to me. Hey, I've know. talked to you for five minutes, and I'm very impressed. No. You know what I'm by looking at her tattoo? She's got a lot of tattoos with females' names on it. Demisha, Melody. What are all these tattoos about? Some of them are girlfriends, some of them are just like best friends. People have touched me. I just kind of like get involved with the wrong type of women. And this is what I get. <laughs> but you know, lesson learned, right? I don't know. From this one, I mean. I don't know. Love is love. Yeah. Love is love. All right, good luck to you. When she first came in, and even I, I judged her just because of her task that she has on her face. She's trying to get away from the lifestyle she had before, but it's hard for her to do when you have the tests that she has. come into work you have to change your whole mindset it's something about maybe putting on the uniform that changes your mindset but you have to be ready for anything when you come in here when we're not at work we we don't have to deal with these same kind of people and the same kind of attitudes and so you have to kind of change that whole mindset when you come into work especially here in Las Vegas Get all the way down Um, this guy just fell off of his chair, possible seizure, but he was hyperventilating earlier. He's responding to the ammonia. I'm okay. I know you're yeah? okay. Let me alone. Why'd you flop on the floor? Let me alone. Why do you keep doing this? I can't, I can't. Why do you keep breathe? Playing? Why do you keep playing like this? You're breathing fine. You're holding your breath. And Let me go. I'm the fire. I'm fine. Let me go. You said that last time, but now you just flopped yourself on the floor again. So what is really going on? I'm OK. I'm OK. Stay sitting in the I'm OK. OK. You're in 
intoxicated and you're looking for attention, what do you want? Nothing? Then breathe normal, Daniel. Stop acting. You've been arrested. You have to deal with it, Daniel. Daniel's been doing this off and on since he came in being arrested. He was arrested for a DUI charge, which he said that he wasn't driving his truck at the time that he was arrested um, from the witness statements of his DUI. And so now he's trying to act up. And uh, he's done this twice already. So hopefully he'll just sit calm now and breathe like a normal human being. Ah! Ah! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just put it on the chair. I'm sorry. 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 i I told you in plain, clear English. Up on your knees. There you go. Yeah, the inmate didn't want to follow directions. He started uh, going through the pat-down procedure and actually kicked his sandals off at the officer. And downhill from there. Way up the wall. I can't have him sit down there, will you? Sit down, gentlemen. Sit down. Bend your knee. Pick your foot up. This guy actually earlier during day shift was a problem with the day shift uh, officers. They told us about him. He had uh, gone to the Rio Hotel, I think it was, was, and went swimming without permission of the hotel. He was not a guest. So that's what he ended up getting arrested for as a trespass. And then uh, we're going to leave him in here for a cool down. Yep. The name for the sheet? Yeah, yeah this sticker's just on something. Okay. Uh, it's a real outlaw. This is a bandit. Let me breathe. Let me breathe. This is the fourth time he's done this now. Leave me alone. Let me breathe. Class two? No. Oh. DUI. Yeah. Let me alone. Right? I'm going to get down in my seat. All right, let's take him. There you go. Let Stand up. Go. Walk. I just wanted to breathe. I didn't need to get out of my seat. And now all of a sudden you're now all of a sudden you're breathing fine. Talking fine. So uh, I was talking fine too. You guys yeah. leave me alone. Could fall on the no, floor. I, he's a DUI where uh, the officer actually got him after he's done driving. But all the witness statements got him as his little DUI. All right, come on in. You just let me leave my seat. I've been fine. What's going on, Daniel? Nothing. Nothing. I walked out of Albertsons. I got arrested for DUI walking out of Albertsons. Were you drinking Scotch. earlier today? Was I? Yeah. Yes. OK. Yes. So, yes. You, so you were intoxicated when they approached you? Yes. OK. They arrested me for drunken driving, and I didn't have a car anywhere around. That's how stupid they are. Oh, so they started know. beating me. They go, where's your truck? Where's your truck? We saw you get dropped off, and they start smashing me with their nightsticks. Where's your truck? Where's your truck? I told them, quit I got scars and, and... And I see no bruising at all. Well, listen, are you going to let me talk? I have 18 and a half years experience of dealing with people like you. And I'm telling you right now, you are not beat with nightsticks. There's no barks on you, there's no welds, there's no red marks. In my book, you're lying. Your time's up. No more. Okay, you just sit there and be quiet. On your case, were you drinking when you came in here? What's no, the deal? No, I don't do drugs. I don't you don't do drugs? Okay, well, do why are you acting that way when you came in? Um, I was just being quiet, that's all. Just you're just being quiet. Just kind of tired, yeah. I saw you kick your shoes at the officer. You're not ready to come out here yet either, are you? OK. OK? That's, that's it? I'd rather go, but I mean, it's up to you guys again, so I understand. Yeah, it is up to us. So we'll leave him in here also. OK. You Sounds guys. good. Anyway, sir. A couple of liars no, you're together. To go. Your time's done. Your time's done. You're giving me the brain pain. I don't like getting the brain pain on my Friday. Yeah, you give me a penny, too. They're obviously both just lying and trying to concoct their own little stories to make themselves look good. Yeah. Vegas is a 24-hour city. 24 hours of gambling, 24 hours of playing, 24 hours of drinking. 
So people from all over the world end up here in this jail. After they've been here for a while, the alcohol wears off, the drugs wear off, reality sets in and they realize that they don't want to be here. So, you know, we'll get them through the process, we do what we can, get them out of here, but it's just a revolving door. It's the same thing every day, same situation. Ma'am, come here. Face this wall. I got scaly the lights. Thank you for telling you me. Might get the lights to the dinner I'm not gonna get the lights. Don't say that. That freaks me out. Why do I need to get the lights? It's a Why are you gonna fact. wish me on that? It's a medical fact. They jump. Do you, you got long hair to get it. And I have scabies. <laughs> Spread your feet. I, I have scabies. Well, be proud of that. What are you in for right now? Loitering for the purpose of prostitution? I don't know. <gasps> that is what you're here for, huh? And you've got lice, scabies, and hepatitis. What? You see anything wrong with that? Not judging, but do you see anything wrong with that? I'm just letting you know so you can tell the medical no, 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 so that no. nobody gets infected. Or are you letting people know that when you uh, when you do them sexual favors for money? Okay, I'm just, I'm just letting you know so that you can tell medical so nobody else gets infected. I appreciate it. else said to me. We okay. don't judge me. God does. Please. Okay, please. I said I don't judge you, but I need to know. No, you don't need to know. All right, if it's not your problem, I just said worry about I'm it a little bit more. Know, so you can tell medical so that. Duly can... noted. Okay, come on. Let's go to medical because I don't know why you're trying to make we me really feel bad. I'm not trying to make you feel bad, but I don't want to make you cry. You want to get me to cry or whatever? I don't want to make you cry. You're tough. You're the one out there. You've got all, this, all these diseases and you're flinging it out there. All right, the female that was just brought in, you guys picked her up? Yes, we did. Do you know what for? Prostitution related. There were some vice officers that did a uh, stop on her and uh, she solicited sex to them, and uh, they called for a transport, so we came and transported. Apparently, she was just in here uh, last week for the same thing. Yeah, she was. All right, well, thanks for that. She's going to the restroom right now. She's going to take care of her uh, lice and her scabies. What were you picked up for? Uh, loitering and, well, soliciting. Okay, and you just barely came into Vegas? Yeah, four hours ago. You didn't last very long. It's kind of funny. It's it, kind it, of funny. It is, because the last time I was out here was like three years ago, so. Oh, it's been three years? Uh, my warrant is two years old, so yeah. I okay. have not been out here in two years, and I have not been caught in two years. The warrant is for two years old. So do you think it's bad luck? <laughs> it's bad luck. I don't think I Vegas is on here. I babies at home with their dad. Oh, don't, let, don't tell twins. me that. Oh, but the dad's there, right? Yeah. Do you usually make more money when you come to Vegas? Is it like a holiday or something? What made you decide to come now? I just wanted to get gone, get away. For two weeks, even though you just had babies, you needed a break. I mean, yeah, you need a break from twins. I pampered myself with oh. my nails, and you know. Oh, well, Vegas is the place to go for that. All right. Well, I got a shirt for you that you can put on. I'm sure it's a little cold in here, and the guys, you know, start looking at you a little bit. They got no money. Sorry, they can't. They got no money, right? Sorry. Yeah, we took their money anyway, so. All right. So you just got the one warrant. So I'll never see you again. I'm okay with that. You're okay with that? I am okay with that. <laughs> okay. All right, you can go back to your seat. Uh, Alicia. Head. I know a lot of people come over from California to work just for a couple of weeks. It's just funny that she got caught within four hours of being here. That's her sign that she's not supposed to be over here in Vegas. And she'll go back and she does what she does over in California. All right, it's almost halfway through my shift and we're starting to get a little busy. And. Uh, it looks like Tammy's giving another officer a little bit of trouble. I need to go over and help. Yes, you do have room to solid here. Tammy, you don't get that. You're going to go in a cell with other females. Yeah. I did this for you guys. So I want you to know that. You are. It's the dress. Right now, we're going to take you to a cell because you're out there, you're screaming and you're yelling at everybody, and you can't do that. You're being I'm disruptive. Tired. I know that, but you're being disruptive. Stay in cell, don't move. Is the ring in a watch? Is it on your side? No, nothing on my side. You can have them off because everybody else has them off. Okay, put your knees up on the bench. These cuffs are going to come off. When they do, you're placing your hands high on the wall. Do you understand that? Yes, you know what I mean. Oh, shit. Mm. <laughs> All right, don't move until the door shuts. Basically, she's been disruptive since she first came in, and she's also having 
other females don't want to be around her because supposedly she has lice, she's picking at her skin, and she's yelling at other people. So we took her back to the side cell, and everybody was very grateful for that. And I think that's kind of what she wanted, too. So she's back on her side cell. She'll sleep it off. See her tomorrow. She'll be a lot more calmer, and she'll get kicked out, and she'll come back again.